Uh, my name's Chris Johnson. I'm design manager for Speedo's uh, hard goods department. I'm involved in the, the design of the uh, caps, goggles, training aids, um, anything in the Speedo business which isn't uh, soft goods or swimwear. Aqualab always worked on soft goods, so we created swimwear and uh, fast skin suits, but we were also looking at the full proposition. So we were also developing uh, caps and goggles. Working on an Olympic project, there's a, there's a deadline, the deadline doesn't move. With any product, especially a goggle for example, comfort and fit is critical. So we needed to um, get that right from the start. To create the, um, create the best caps and goggles, at the time we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to find out how the, the products performed in the water in the correct materials until really late down the line in the process, you know, just before production. And we could learn a whole host, host of things but unfortunately, in our existing process, that was so far down the line, we were then left with a very small amount of time to then refine and improve any, any issues. If we were lucky on projects, we would do two iterations of a handmade sample, and then we would commit to production tooling. And once you've gone to production tooling, if there's problems after that, it's very expensive. And that got us thinking about um, different uh, types of prototyping. We, we were using external uh, prototyping bureaus. By bringing in uh, the 3D printer, a Connex 350 machine, we were able to work and, and print uh, rapid prototypes, not in, the hard, not in the hard material, but also in uh, flexible materials. A Vero Clear, which would simulate a poly polycarbonate lens that you could view through. The uh, Tango Black Plus, which would then simulate a silicon goggle gasket. Straight away, we could print a, a prototype of a goggle. We could print it in a day, clean it up, take it down the pool, swim in it, understand what, you know, what's happening with the vision, is it comfortable, what's the fit like, is it leaking? We could learn a whole host of insights, which then the following day, um, myself and the, the other designers, we could then incorporate into the design. You know, within that, that usual five week period of, of one handmade sample, we could have done a number of different iterations and we could have really refined that product so the, you know, the comfort and fit was optimum. The decision to go with SYS was based on a, a number of different factors. Number one was the, the functionality that was offered. So the, the array of materials, uh, the hard, the soft, the transparent materials, which met our needs, the, the quality of the machines, the, the spec and the, uh, the support. Because I remember once the decision was made and the purchase went through, we, the whole team uh, undertook uh, some, some training. It was um, really thorough training with the representatives um, from SYS came in and they took us through and trained us on the maintenance aspects. And then he also helped us and support us with the way that we work and our current process with the, the 3D CAD and how we then translate it onto the machine to get the best outputs. It allows us to have a better quality design development process so we can create the design, take it into 3D CAD, we can then simulate with FEA and CFD to understand how it should and might perform and then we can validate it by printing the, uh, the prototypes. The, you only have so much time on a, on a project but what it allows us to do is de-risk. So by doing these additional iterations, you end up with a, with a better product. It's opened up um, uh, new avenues, new opportunities, because you, once you have the machine, you know, it's embedded, it's, it's, it's at the heart of your process, really. If you're looking to get a 3D printer to support your design process, I'd certainly recommend a machine like the Connex um, because of all the advantages it gives you. But I'd probably say, you need to look at the, the spec of the machines that are out there and select the, the product which is right for your business and is correct for the products you're creating and your process. We've got the Connex 350 and over the past five years it's, it's delivered. You know, if you're a, if you're a designer and you're, you're looking for a 3D printer, I would certainly recommend an SYS machine. They're really great and supportive in terms of the um, you know, when there's new information, new materials, and we're always offering to come in and visit us and give us a full briefing on what's available, uh, which is fantastic. Over the years, um, we've always had uh, really good support, uh, especially on materials. You know, if we run out of materials, there's, there's the servicing aspect. In a technology center, they'll make the orders and it's, you know, it's there promptly 
whenever they ask. It's definitely put myself in good stead uh, for the years that we've, we've used the machine.